everyone, it's Emily with Hardy Soul. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following this simple sewing series, you will have a good understanding of all of the sewing essentials you need in order to get started sewing. You will have learned how to thread your sewing machine. You will have learned how to create a seam and then create a hem. And this fifth sewing series video is all about how to create a pillow cover. So this pillow cover is out of an upcycled sweater and I love using upcycled things just because it's like why not recycle something and make it new again. So I really love using sweaters for the holiday season and when it's colder outside they just feel so cozy. And I happen to just pick up three kind of cream colored sweaters from my local thrift store and it worked out really well. And so I think I've got maybe about five dollars into three sweaters. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to make an envelope style pillow cover. So you can see in the back here, this is how we get the pillow form in. You could certainly purchase a pillow form. Um, I really like just upcycling something. I'll go to a thrift store, find something that looks washable, and I will buy that. Maybe three that are the same size is always nice. and. I'll take them home, wash them up really good, and then give them a new life, like giving them a pillow cover. I really like switching out my pillow covers every season. It's just sort of add something nice and fresh to our living room, and especially in the fall and the winter season, it's nice to put on my sweater pillow covers on the pillows. So today we're gonna talk all about how we put all of the steps that you just learned into one project. This is probably the most basic project you can do. And like I said, you can make this fancy. You can use a lot of different kind of fabric. You could use all sorts of different shapes to create the same style of pillow cover. So the first thing we need is, of course, a pillow. And if you've been following along for some time now, you understand that I'm not exactly someone who likes to go buy patterns or uh, read a lot of instructions or go by the book exactly. I really like to save time by just creating my own pattern based on the item itself. This pillow happens to measure about 16 by 16. So I'm going to cut my piece of sweater fabric out and it's going to measure 17 by 17. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is spread the first sweater out and plop this pillow right on top. Now, as you can see, this is almost a perfect fit. I'm going to scoosh this down a little bit. Now, I like my pillow covers a little bit tighter because I like the pillow to be nice and full and not uh, having a loose cover on a pillow. So I wanna make sure, because I know that this fabric will stretch, that this is going to be nice and snug when I put my pillow into this. So next, what I'm going to do is cut around this pillow, leaving an inch of room on each side. So first we're going to cut out the front side of this pillow cover. I'm going to go up the side of my sweater here. And I want to make sure that I'm not going to cut into both layers here. It might be a little bit intimidating the first time you cut up a piece of clothing. But if you start to envision clothing, the stuff that you've purchased or pulled out of your closet as recycled and being something else, it's a little bit easier to cut it up. So we've got our first piece done. And for my second back piece, now this is the part that we are going to create an envelope on. And the most important part is that they must overlap. So we want the fabric to overlap in the back. <laughs> that means that we have to create a hem. And I like my hems to be about one inch a piece. So I'm gonna add one inch 
to both little sections of the back panel here. So I'm going to actually increase this by two inches. All right, then we need to cut them in half. So we have two equal halves. Okay, so once we've got our two halves cut, we're going to go over and first create a hem on both sides of our envelope pieces for the back. All right. So I want my hem on this piece to be on this side. This is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the right side of the fabric. And instead of ironing, because I'm not sure how well this is going to iron flat, I'm actually gonna roll this and use my pins. I'm just taking a half inch and a half inch and rolling it just like we did in the hem video. I'm using a straight stitch and I'm making sure I back stitch. two back pieces overlapped and everything is right side facing together and I'm just going to go ahead and pin all the way around knowing full well that we won't need an open area on either edge of this pillow cover because we're going to use this envelope style back end to flip our piece. So we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew all around our four squares. Okay, so the next thing we need to do once we've got all our four sides sewn. Now, it is up to your discretion whether you would like to finish the outside edges of your pillow cover. You could do the small zigzag like I showed you. I decided not to do that this time. I'm just gonna put this over my pillow. Tucking the corners up nice. And there we have it. We have one pillow cover that has been covered by a very beautiful and very soft sweater. We've upcycled that sweater into something new and fresh, and that will go lovely with the holiday season and the colder temps. So this is probably the most basic project that I can teach you. And from all of the lessons prior to this, I'm sure that you have a really good basic understanding of how to sew. In the next few videos, I'm going to go over a few other techniques that I like to use and that I use often here on our farm. Things like patching a pair of pants, adding a zipper to something, and creating a buttonhole. Those are the next three videos in this series, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week.